Today you'll be learning about one part of the animal kingdom, vertebrates. Over the past few weeks, you've been learning about classification, about how we classify everything into first three domains and then into six kingdoms. Today we're going to talk about one of those kingdoms, which are animals. Usually we put living things into two large groups, animals and plants. Animals are there, then split into two major groups, vertebrates and invertebrates. We're going to talk about the vertebrates today. Vertebrates are the animals with a backbone. There are five groups of vertebrates. Amphibians, birds, fish, mammals, and reptiles. And as you can see right here, this is the backbone. In science, we usually talk about five different vertebrates. Amphibians, birds, mammals, fish, and reptiles, and each one has their own characteristics. The amphibians, like frogs or salamanders, have moist skin, lay jelly-coated eggs in water, and they live on land and water. They're in the kingdom animalia, the phylum chordata, and if you look right here at chordata, you see the word cord for spinal cord subphylum vertebrate so chordata is their phylum and they're a vertebrate and they're in the class amphibia some of the characteristics of birds are they have feathers and hollow bones lay hard shelled eggs are warm blooded they're in the kingdom animalia again they have a spinal cord, so they are in the phylum chordata, and their class is called aves. Sometimes when you go to a zoo or the living museum, you go to what's called an aviary. That's because birds are in the class aves. Fish have wet scales. They lay eggs in the water. They're also in the kingdom animalia, and they're phylum chordata because they have a spinal cord. And then look at the different classes, two different classes that we put fish in. I need you to remember the kingdom and the phylum for fish. Mammals are like the lions, pandas, and whales, and you. The characteristics are that they have hair and produce milk, give birth to live offspring, and are warm-blooded. Again, kingdom animalia, phylum chordata, we all have spinal cords, subphylum vertebrates, and then the class is mammalia. Reptiles like snakes have dry scales, lay leathery shelled eggs, they are cold-blooded, that's why you see them out like sunning on rocks. They're in the Kingdom Animalia, Phylum Chordata, they have a spinal cord. They are in the subphylum vertebrate, and the class is Reptilia. This slide shows you a summary of all the vertebrates that we just discussed, the classes that they're in, and the different characteristics. So it's like a one place you can go to refer if um, you're forgetting some of them, and a good place to go to help you study. Okay, let's see what you remember. Is this animal a mammal, bird, fish, amphibian, or reptile? I hoped you guessed mammal. Its body is warm, it has fur, it feeds its young on milk, and it gives live births. Therefore, it's a mammal. Where should we classify this animal? Again, this is a mammal. It has a warm body, it has fur, it feeds its young on milk, and it gives live births. Okay, look at the frog. What am I? A frog is an amphibian. Its body's moist and smooth, unlike um, a reptile that has dry, scaly skin. It lays eggs, and it likes to live in or near the water. A lot of times they live both on land and 
play in the water, come out, maybe lay their eggs in there and come out. Okay, is this a mammal, bird, fish, amphibian, or reptile? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, is this a mammal, bird, fish, amphibian, or reptile? This was another easy one. This is a bird. What animal is this? This is a fish because it's cold, it's covered in scales, it uses gills to breathe underwater, and they lay eggs. What is a turtle? A turtle is a reptile. Its body's covered in dry scales and it lays eggs. These are salamanders. How are they classified? Salamanders are amphibians. Their bodies are moist and smooth. They lay eggs and they like to live in or near the water. Last one, what is this guy? Snakes are reptiles. They have dry scales and lay eggs. Thanks for watching.